Hi, I'm Joe Barhoom with Geeks Worldwide, and I'm here to tell you about Razer's brand new flagship laptop. It's the Razer Blade 15. This machine weighs under 5 pounds, it has a 6 core i7 processor with a GTX 1070 Max Q Design GPU. It is absolutely fantastic. It feels great, it's light enough to take it around, you can travel with it without any issue. Believe me, I'm a stickler when it comes to travel. I'm traveling as light as possible most of the time. And I found that this laptop gives you the best portability to performance in a luxury design that you're going to find. And I have to stress luxury design because you're going to pay more for this Razer product than you would for, say, a similarly spec product from Asus or Acer. That's just the way Razer does it. They put a lot of emphasis on design, build quality, quietness, all that fun stuff. It's like the Denali line of a GMC. But what you're going to find with this Razer Blade 15 is while it's nearly perfect, the things that don't make it completely perfect can be freaking annoying. And again, I'm a fan. I love this laptop. This is, I bought this myself. This is not sponsored by anybody. I'm going to keep this sucker for a while. And the reason I love this laptop for, is for everything that I mentioned. And its performance is really good. I'm playing Fortnite at 144 hertz with everything maxed out. Same thing with The Witcher 3. If I play Kingdom Come Deliverance, I'm getting just under 100, I'm around 80 to 85 frames per second. And overall, fan noise doesn't really top out above 54 decibels. It's a really great machine. Everything about it is perfect, except for really one thing, and that's the keyboard. When you're typing, the keyboard feels really good, and the backlighting is actually quite fantastic with three different levels of brightness. The problem with the keyboard is the positioning of the up arrow. The up arrow is in the place of where the question mark normally is on 99.99% of all keyboards in the world. And this one challenge is, it's really hard to understand why they did it. And I'm not gonna to try to jump in their minds and justify it. Here's the bottom line. If you can get over that problem or if you're comfortable remapping the up arrow to the question mark, or at least to shift, then you're probably gonna be really happy with this keyboard. Otherwise, I really can't complain about this device. It's got the power, the portability, and the beautiful build quality that I always look for when I wanna buy a laptop. And I'm at a point in my life where I'm willing to spend extra, let's say it's 20% more, to get this type of build quality and the performance that I'm looking for over something that's more made out of ABS plastic or a, a combination of aluminum and plastic. So if you're like me and you want a laptop that looks amazing, feels amazing, and turns heads, the Razorblade 15 is perfect. Now it is priced at $2,600 for this model that I have, and you can read more about it in my review on the GWW.com. And again, this model, 6-core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, a 1.5 terabyte SSD and M.2 NVMe, and the 1070 and Max-Q. So if you can live with those specs and spend $2,600 with this beautiful display, you're going to be super happy with this laptop. If you want to know more about it, check out the review at thegww.com.